Hi guys. Welcome to Analytics About. Today we will discuss the difference between a date drunk and a date bad function. Many a times the results returned from a date drunk and date bad function within calculated fields or even within visualizations in Tableau are pretty similar and they are used interchangeably in many uh, of the tutorials as well as many of the uh, functions and it can be pretty difficult as a beginner to really understand the difference between a date trunk and a date part function. So I'm going to explain the difference between the two and there are really important nuances to be kept in mind because they serve both of them serve very different purposes. Now let us look at how Tableau defines both of these uh, functions on the Tableau website. So date trunk uh, is defined by Tableau as truncates the specific date to the accuracy specified by the date part within the uh, function. And date part is actually defined as returns date part of date as an integer. Now, what does date part actually mean? So when you are uh, defining these functions, date part can be specified to be a day or a week or a month or a quarter or a year. The syntax for the date trunk function is actually date trunk date part, which is either day, week, month, quarter, or year, and the date that you are looking to truncate. Uh, start of the week is the start of the week that you can specify, but it is an optional field. The date part function format is defined by Tableau as date part, which can be either day, week, month, quarter, year. The date for which you want the date part and finally the start of the week. Now let us look at some examples and try to understand what date trunk and date part function actually return. So suppose you have the date trunk function for 9th September 2021 and you want the date, date of the date trunk. Similarly, when we implement the same for the date part, uh, we have date part of day of 9 September 2021. When you actually look at the outputs uh, from Tableau, uh, the date trunk function for the day for 9 September 2021 is actually is actually as September 9, 2021, which means that uh, which means that Tableau is basically returning the entire date as um, as a truncated uh, uh, as a truncated field whereas the date part function it actually just returns the day part of this date so the day part of this date is 9 and that is what is actually returned by tableau whereas the date trunk function is actually returning the entire date now let us look at some other examples so for example, when you look at date trunk for the month function, uh, what Tableau is returning is the, uh, is the month and the year of the date trunk function. So actually, uh, when you do date trunk of month of 9 September 2021, you are getting the September 2021. Whereas when you do the same thing with the date part function, what Tableau actually returns is only the month function of this date. So what it is being returned is just this by Tableau. And finally, let us just look at another way. Uh, like for example, when you do date trunk of uh, quarter for this particular day, uh, what is being returned is actually 2021 quarter three because September falls in the quarter three in Tableau, so what you are getting is actually uh, the September, uh, September, which is quarter three and the year. So as you can see, uh, Tableau specifies a greater detail when you are actually implementing the date trunk function. Whereas when you just do a date part function for a quarter, what is being returned is the quarter, quarter for September, uh, which is quarter three. So this is what is being returned by Tableau. And uh, 
as you can see that there are really important nuances and they serve really different purposes. I'm going to give a short demo in Tableau so that it becomes really clear. So we are going to quickly get a demo of the difference between the date trunk and the date part function. I am with the sample superstore data set, which is the standard data set provided by Tableau. And we are going to work with audit date as well as the profit and the audit date in order to actually visualize the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do is kind of quickly drag on the profit onto the row shell and the order date onto the column shell. Now, automatically what Tableau is doing is the aggregation on a yearly level. Now, what we'll do is kind of uh, see the options for uh, the level of granularity for an order date. And as you can see that actually uh, Tableau already gives two options. The first part of uh, this uh, visualization for the uh, days is actually the date part function. And the second part is actually the date trunk function. So this is what uh, this is what is the visualization level for the date trunk function. And this is what is the visualization for the date part function. We can also uh, confirm this by maybe just have creating a calculated field, sample calculated field. And right now, what I'll do is kind of just to show you that this is actually the date part function and this is actually the date trunk function. I'm going to drag this onto the uh, onto the calculated field. And as you can see, this is the first part is actually the date part. And now let me kind of change this to uh, change this to the date trunk function. And when you kind of drag on this to the uh, calculated field you can see it is actually the date trunk function which means that uh, both of them are serving very different purposes now let us go back to the date part you can see that the uh, aggregation right now is happening on the yearly level but right now if I change this to a quarter it it doesn't care for the year uh, for the profits uh, like whether the quarter one belongs to either 2018, 2019, 2020 uh, or 2021 year, uh, it basically buckets all the quarter ones of, um, of uh, uh, 2018 to 2021 years into one bucket. Similarly, it does the same for quarter two, quarter three, quarter uh, and quarter four. But if we say change the uh, same uh, to a date trunk function, and uh, switch to a quarter, we'll see that we get the aggregation not just on a quarter basis, but also on the yearly basis. So it's a much more bigger level of detail. So right now, as you can see, we are getting the visualization on 2018 quarter two, 2018 quarter four, 2019 quarter two, quarter four. So basically, uh, and the difference between a date trunk and a date part function. And hopefully uh, this has been really uh, useful to you and thank you so much for